About a week and a half ago, I received my first printed proof of eel. The first part of this video is a review of the printing and the physical state of the book, and the second part is about my experience with using Kablam. So here's a quick flip through of the comic, I sped it up, well, for obvious reasons, I don't want you to look at anything too closely yet. Just so you know, the colors looked way more bright and vivid on camera than they actually were. After going through all the pages, I knew I had to do some revising for the next print. The black outlines I drawn were more grainy and washed out than I was expecting, and the colors were not nearly saturated enough. But with that said, the art was still printed beautifully. The interior pages were printed on 70 pound high bright paper, and personally, I didn't think it was heavy or thick enough. I could see hints of artwork from the other side of the pages. I pulled an Adventure Time comic from off my shelf, which has 28 pages like mine, to compare the bow of the comics. The bow is the gap in the middle of the pages here. The more pages in a saddle stitch book and the heavier the pages, the bigger the bow will get. Mine has a thicker cardstock cover while the Adventure Time comic has a self cover which means the cover is the cover paper is the same as the interior pages. Even so, the bows were similar in size. Overall, I was really happy to see my comic pages put together. It looked pretty good as a book and I'm proud of it. But let's talk about the actual state of the product. When I'd first taken the book out of the rigid mailer, I saw that it hadn't been wrapped up or cushioned with anything. There were just two papers, um, a Kablam ad and the invoice. Anyway, this was not a good sign, but I was excited about looking at the interior of the pages, so I ignored it and went on. Uh, but later, when I checked, I saw that there were scuffed edges and even some weird sticky material on the back. A company should always adequately wrap your material, whether you order one copy or a hundred. My feeling was that Kablam thought, oh, this is probably just a proof, we don't have to be very careful about it. But if a customer is going to keep it for themselves, sell it or gift it, whatever, if they pay for a service, then the product should be in perfect condition. This was my first time printing with Kablam, and it made me wonder if it was a one-time mistake or if they only wrap orders that are of a bigger quantity. What made me more flabbergasted was when I realized that only one staple was holding the book together. As you can see here, they'd completely forgotten staple the top part. I had chosen to print with Kablam because they let you print just one copy of your comic, unlike other printers that have you order a minimum of 25 copies at once. But if they're going to treat my one copy like this, then what's the point? Uploading my files to their site was easy. I just made a folder in my Dropbox with all the files, correctly organized in the way they want, and sent them the Dropbox link. However, I accidentally deleted the Dropbox link several days after making my order, and on the 10th day after I'd made the order, which is uh, the normal turnaround for an order my size, I messaged them and asked why my order status hadn't changed from reviewing files. Only then did they tell me that there was an error in the Dropbox link and they couldn't access the files. They could have told me that as soon as they saw it, but for some reason they waited and probably would have never told me because I'd already paid. <laughs> I was so peeved with them for that. But other than that, they were fairly prompt with messaging me when I had other questions and they were friendly enough. So basically, I placed my order on August 27th, and on September 14th, the comic was finally delivered to me. And because I was unsatisfied with the state of my book, I messaged Kablam several days after, asking if I could get another copy printed with no cost to me, and they agreed. They had told me they would cushion the book this time, but it was actually just the same two papers that came in the first order, strategically wrapped and it did effectively keep the book from being scruffed up. They stapled both ends this time, but look at the difference in the print quality. Again, maybe on camera it does look better, but um, what happened here? Everything printed this time was way lighter and grainier than the first proof, as if they'd been running low on ink. The colors weren't the same, the black of some of the text was more heavy and blurred in places, and there were these spotted bits throughout the pages. The top of the book wasn't well cut, but I'm not going to bother showing you that because the review has gone on long enough. So my experience with Kablam was kind of disappointing overall. I'm going to try printing with Comic Wellsprings next and hope they do better. Thank you for watching, I know this was a really long video and I talked a lot, or at least I thought I talked a lot. 
I really hope this was helpful in some way, especially for people who are looking to get their comics printed. If you've used Kablam or any other printer, leave a comment and tell us about your experience. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye!